Hey everyone, welcome back to Happy Healthy Smiles. Thanks so much for joining me. My name is Farah, I'm a registered dental hygienist. And today let's talk about toothpicks. So why are people still using toothpicks in the mouth and not using it for food serving at parties or at restaurants? I don't know because these can cause a lot of issues in the mouth and one of them is blunted papilla. Papilla are these triangular shapes, this gum that looks like a triangle V shape right in between the teeth. So continual use of a toothpick, what will do is cause a lot of spaces between the teeth and it will blunt the papilla instead of a V shape, it'll be straight horizontal. So that means more food debris will get caught and it won't protect the teeth as it does right now with this V shape. So that's one condition these toothpicks cause. And if you are forcing it in, um, a lot of people usually push it in and that will cause trauma to the gums and teeth. Another issue with using toothpicks is these are pretty sharp, just touching it, I can feel it'll cut the gum. And once the gum has an open wound or a cut, bacteria can seep in and that's how you get inflammation or um, an abscess can occur which ha will have to be treated. Also, if you're chewing on these and you get a splinter in the gum, anywhere around the gum, you might not know about it. It can, again, um, get you will have a lot of inflammation or an abscess and an infection. So this is a really can be um, traumatic to the teeth and, and tissues. I've seen or heard of people swallowing these by accident when you're chewing on them and what happens is you can inhale it into your lungs that could be dangerous or you can swallow it and it'll go down into your stomach or your intestine and unfortunately the stomach acid does not dissolve this i was reading a study where one man had swallowed and they couldn't figure out why he kept getting sick till they did the surgery and found a toothpick lodged in the intestine so beware of these toothpicks instead there are so many better options that are safer one of the best ones is these floss placards or the floss string really the best option um, another is the, the proxy brushes which are these little brushes they come in different sizes so these are really good and there's something called soft picks which are kind of like toothpicks except they're not hard they have give so they bend and they're flexible and they're soft and they don't puncture if used properly and again you don't want to use it anywhere where it's tight spaces like the front teeth use it where there's more space in the back and with these also you never want to force it in as long as it goes in very easily much safer so if you know anyone who's using these old toothpicks do them a favor, buy a whole bunch of these and take the toothpicks away and use the uh, other alternatives. I hope this helped. Keep your mouth healthy, keep your whole body healthy and see you soon. Bye.